A forecast can help you predict things like future sales, inventory requirements or consumer trends. If you have historical time-based data, you can use it to create a visual forecast worksheet using the forecast sheet tool. When you create a forecast sheet, Excel creates a new worksheet that contains both a table of the historical and predicted values and a chart that shows this data. In a worksheet, enter two data series that correspond to each other. A series with the date entries for the timeline, a series with corresponding numeric values that will be predicted for future dates. The timeline requires equal intervals between its data points. For example, monthly intervals with values on the first of every month or yearly intervals or numerical intervals. It's okay if your timeline series is missing up to 30% of the data points or has several numbers with the same timestamp. The forecast will still be accurate. However, summarizing data before you create the forecast will produce more accurate forecast results. In this example, we will try to forecast sales for the next few years based on the historical data in columns A and B. Column A contains dates from 1-1-2016 to 12-1-2021 and column B contains corresponding sales values. Select both data series or in most cases select a cell in one of the series and Excel automatically selects the rest of the data. Select any single cell. On the data tab in the forecast group, click on forecast sheet. The create forecast worksheet window shows a forecast preview. You can choose a graph type, line chart or column chart for the visual representation of the forecast. Select line chart. The end date is pre-populated. To change it, enter end date of your choice for forecasting in the forecast end box. Click on create. Excel creates a new worksheet that contains both a table of the historical and predicted values and a chart that visually represents this data. You will find the next worksheet just to the left of the sheet where you entered the data series. The forecast predicts future values using the existing time-based data and the exponential smoothing algorithm. The table can contain the following columns, three of which are calculated columns. Historical time column, the time-based data series, which contains dates. Historical values column, the corresponding values data series, contains sales. Two columns representing the confidence interval bounds, calculated using forecast.ets.confint function. Forecasted values column, calculated using forecast.ets function. Excel does not output the confidence interval value. Instead, it uses the forecast.ets.confint function in combination with the forecast value to calculate the confidence bounds. These columns appear only when the confidence interval is checked in the options section of the box. The chart included the sales, forecast and confidence bounds. Default values are used for optional arguments for these functions. Let's see how to change the default values using options while creating the forecast sheet. Click on forecast sheet. Click on options in the create forecast worksheet window and configure the settings the way you want. Forecast start, the start date for forecasting. You can either select a date from the date picker or type it directly in the box. If your data is seasonal, then starting a forecast before the last historical point is recommended. For example, enter 11-1-2021. Confidence interval, a range in which the predictions are expected to fall. Confidence interval can help you figure out the accuracy of the prediction. A smaller interval implies more confidence in the prediction for the specific point. The default level is 95%, meaning that 95% of the future points are expected to fall within the range. On the line chart, it is represented by the two finer lines on each side of the forecast line. On the column chart, 
by the above bar values uncheck confidence interval box to hide confidence interval the confidence bounds columns are not created change the default value by using the up or down arrows for example change to 90% as you change the value notice how the bounds are changing seasonality is the length of the seasonal pattern and is automatically detected for example in a yearly sales cycle with each point representing a month the seasonality is 12 you can override the automatic detection by choosing set manually and then picking a number when setting seasonality manually avoid a value for less than 2 cycles of historical data when excel is unable to detect seasonality usually with less than 2 cycles of historical data the predictions revert to a linear trend timeline range the range used for the timeline series by default it includes all dates in your source table but you can change it here change the range to include only months in 2019 and 2021 values range the range used for the value series it should match the timeline range change the range accordingly fill missing points using controls how missing points are handled excel uses interpolation meaning that a missing point will be completed as the weighted average of its neighboring points as long as fewer than 30% of the points are missing to treat the missing points as zeros instead click zeros in the list aggregate duplicates using when the data contains multiple values with the same time stamp excel will average the values to use another calculation method such as median or sum pick the calculation you want from the list include forecast statistics check this box if you want additional statistical information on the forecast included in a new worksheet adds a table of statistics such as smoothing constants alpha beta gamma and error metrics as well click on create the forecast sheet is created with the ranges selected in the options and based on the options selected rearrange the chart and statistics values only data from 11/2019 to 12/1/2021 is included in the calculations Statistics values are calculated using the forecast.ets.stat functions. Hint casting or back testing is a way to test how well the predictions match the known values. For this, you must pick a start date before the end of the historical data. In this case, only data prior to the start date is used in the prediction. However, if you start the forecast too early, the forecast generated won't necessarily represent the forecast you will get using all the historical data. Using all the historical data available gives you a more accurate prediction. Let's see how these predictions match the sales values in column B. Click on forecast sheet in the create forecast worksheet, click on options and in the forecast start box enter 121 2020. click on create blue line represents the known values and the orange line forecasted values you can see the difference in the predictions made and the known values you can also compare the values in the sales and forecast columns in the table if you like this video please subscribe to our channel